عبادك الأيام فتا وتنحي الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن شاء الله تعالى The benefit today is going to be from the kitab Fawaid uh, Al-Fawaid by Al-Imam Ibn Al-Qayyim Al-Jawziya Rahimahullah Ibn Al-Qayyim he talks about in this fa'idah inshallah ta'ala the benefits of Tawheed has in this dunya and in the hereafter the benefits Tawheed has in this world and the hereafter Ibn Al-Qayyim says At-Tawheed mafza'u a'da'ihi wa awliya'ihi Tawheed is mafza'u a'da'ihi wa awliya'ihi that the Tawheed is a mafza' mafza' means it's like a malja something a person runs to so Tawheed is something that the enemies and the allies all of them they run to at times of hardship فَأَمَّا أَعْدَاءُهُ as for the enemies of At-Tawheed they run to Tawheed فَيُنَجِّيهِمْ مِنْ كُرَ بِالدُّنْيَا وَشَدَائِدِهَا and it saves them from the distress of this world and its hardship even the enemies of Islam and the enemies of At-Tawheed they run to the Tawheed at times of distress, worldly distress and hardship and it saves them. And then he brings the ayah in Surah Al-Ankabut, ayah 65, where Allah says, فَإِذَا رَكِبُوا فِي الْفُلْكِ دَعُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ فَلَمَّا نَجَّاهُمْ إِلَى الْبَرِّ إِذَا هُمْ يُشْرِكُونَ When they go on their boats and ships and the ties of the ocean is close to destroying them, they call on to Allah with sincerity in religion. So they come with a tawheed. فَلَمَّا نَجَّاهُمْ إِلَى الْبَرِّ When Allah saves them and brings them back to the shore, إِذَا هُمْ يُشْرِكُونَ They associate partners with Allah. وَأَمَّا أَوْلِيَاؤُهُ So that was the first type which were the enemies of a tawheed. وَأَمَّا أَوْلِيَاؤُهُ And the allies of a tawheed, those who are upon tawheed inshaAllah, فَيُنَجِّيهِمْ Allah saves them مِنْ كُرُبَاتِ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ وَشَدَائِدِهَا Allah saves them from the distress of this worldly and in the hereafter and its hardship. So they have an extra thing which the other ones don't, which is the hereafter as well. وَلِذَلِكَ فَزِعَ إِلَيْهِ يُونُسُ فَنَجَّاهُ اللَّهُ مِنْ تِلْكَ الظُّلُبَاتِ And because of that, Nabi Allah Yunus ibn Matta, he ran to Tawheed when he was in the the Hoot, in the mid, the stomach of the Hoot, and in the darkness, he ran back to At-Tawheed. وَفَزِعَ إِلَيْهِ أَتْبَاعُ الرُّسُلِ And the followers of the messengers, they run to Tawheed in times of hardship. فَنُجُّوا بِهَا مِمَّا عُذِّبَ بِهِ الْمُشْرِكُونَ فِي الدُّنْيَا And they get saved and they are saved from the punishment of the pagans in this world. وَمَا أُعِدَّ لَهُمْ فِي الْآخِرَةِ And also that which was prepared for them in the hereafter. So they enter paradise because of a Tawheed. وَلَمَّا فَزِعَ إِلَيْهِ فِرْعَوْنُ As for when Fir'aun started to run to Tawheed عند معاينة الهلاك when he saw the destruction وإدراك الغرق and he was about to be drowned لم ينفعه it did not benefit him why? this is a قاعدة لأن الإيمان عند المعاينة لا يقبل because إيمان does not benefit a person when he sees what he should have believed in without seeing it because Allah tabarak wa ta'ala he praises the believers for what? الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ they believe in the unseen and that is what's needed from you and so the shaykh here is referring to the ayah in surah to Yunus ayah 90 to 92 where Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is saying 
وجاوزنا ببني إسرائيل البحر فأتبعهم فرعون وجنوده بغيا وعدوى حتى إذا أدركه الغرق قال آمنت أنه لا إله إلا, إلا الذي آمنت به بنو إسرائيل وأنا من المسلمين الآن وقد عصيت من قبل وكنت من المفسدين فاليوم ننجيك ببدنك لتكون لمن خلفك آية وإن كثيرا من الناس عن آياتنا لغافلون Then Ibn Al-Qayyim goes on to saying هذه سنة الله في عباده This is the sunnah of Allah This is Allah's way with his creation فما دفعت شدائد الدنيا بمثل التوحيد The hardship of this world is not deflected from anyone like Tawheed. Through to, except, except the best way it could be deflected is through Tawheed. وَلِذَلِكَ كَانَ دُعَاءُ الْكَرَبِ بِالتَّوْحِيدِ And that is why the dua of stress, the dua of stress, is referring to the dua which is in uh, Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih muslim on the authority of Abdullah ibn Abbas, is with Tawheed. وَدَعْوَةُ ذِي النُّونِ And the dua of the Noon, Yunus ibn Matta, was what? The one in Tirmidhi and Ahmed and Tabarani and Hakim on the authority of Sa'ad ibn Abi Uqas. It is what? It's through Tawheed. الَّتِي مَا دَعَى بِهَا مَكْرُومٌ إِلَّا فَرَّجَ اللَّهُ كَرْبَهُ بِالتَّوْحِيدِ And no one who is distressed makes this dua except Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala eases for him his distress. And it's because of Tawheed. فَلَا يُلْقَى فِي الْكُرَ بِالْعِظَامِ إِلَّا الشِّرْكُ And then Ibn Al-Qayyim goes, And no one is thrown into distress, great distress, except through shirk. وَلَا يُنْجِي مِنْهَا إِلَّا التَّوْحِيدُ وَلَا يُنْجِي مِنْهَا إِلَّا التَّوْحِيدُ And no, and it's a person is not saved from it except through tawheed. فَهُوَ مَفْزَعُ الْخَلِيقَةِ وَمَلْجَأُهَا وَحِسْنُهَا وَغِيَاثُهَا وَبِاللَّهِ تَوْفِيقٍ And it is the thing that the creation need to run to and result to. And it is the fortress of the person. And it is where you find your aid and your support. And Allah tabarak wa ta'ala knows best. I conclude there with this benefit inshaAllah ta'ala today. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi.